Hey y'all, come on in here and cook with me. Today I'm making some spicy chicken baked pasta. Really don't have a name for it. It's just a bunch of ingredients thrown together to make a quick Sunday meal. Let's go. Now y'all know by now I start almost every dish with onions and peppers. There are those onions and peppers chopped up. One of the stars of this show is hot sausages. You can choose any hot sausage of your liking. And I use ground chicken. This is my seasoning lineup. If you have not tried this gourmet beer can chicken, you got to try it. You don't know what you're missing. Please try it in your next dish you use with chicken. And I just use some store name pasta sauce and the other star of the show is the hot rotel you'll see me using that in a moment use any cheeses you like you could have amped this recipe up with some jalapeno cheese but i just used some kobe jack and some italian cheese now i cook the sausages first because they take longer so here i am just browning the sausages until they're done because the chicken only takes a approximately eight to 10 minutes. And the sausages took a little longer. I wanted to make sure they were thoroughly cooked. Y'all know I don't believe in feet and my family no undercooked food. So this is just me browning the sausages up, taking my time. There it is, good and brown. Yep. So once this is uh, broken up and brown to my liking, then I add the chicken meat and I do the same thing until it is thoroughly cooked as well. This is just me pouring my bow tie pasta into that steaming boiling hot water. Just taking a stir, making sure nothing is sticking Season to your liking. I heavily season food because that's how we like it around here. It's not too much seasoning. I know it looks like a lot, but I season until my spirit tell me to stop. And it works out every time. It works out every time. So as you can see here, the ground chicken is getting brown as well. It doesn't take long at all. And so there is that pasta drained and I'm just pouring it into the pot so I can put my pasta sauce on it. Here I am just dumping this into this pot. I'm going to actually use this pot for mixing. You can use a pot. You can use a bowl that's large enough. Whatever you have in your kitchen that's going to get the job done. And so here I'm just pouring a pasta sauce. That pasta looked a little stiff, but it's going to loosen right up. You'll see that here in just a moment. See? It's not stiff, y'all. I promise. It broke right up with that pasta sauce. And so in this sauce, I just put a little Italian seasoning you can put as many seasonings as you like into your pasta base. Here is that Rotel. I drained it and I used the entire can because remember, this is a spicy uh, meal. This is a spicy dish. So we use the whole can of Rotel here and just mix everything thoroughly. And so in that same pan that I cooked the meat in, I added a little extra oil, warmed that up. And then I added my peppers and my onions. I did not end up using all of those onions. Um, I just used as many as I thought the dish would need. You just eyeball it. I, I literally don't measure a lot of things unless it's a recipe that calls for specific measuring. But these type of dishes, I just go from my eye and my gut. So here I am. I'm actually going to continue to stir these until they're a little translucent not too much because remember we put in this dish in the oven so it's gonna cook some more yep 
And again, don't forget, you can use any type of peppers, any type of onions, any type of seasonings. Do it your way. The base is just the pasta and the Italian sausages and, and the chicken. So here I'm just pouring all of those into this dish. They weren't completely translucent, but they were enough to my liking. And yes, I used all of that meat. Yep. So I'm going to give this a good stir. Good stir. You'll see me doing that here in a minute. And so the first thing I do before I start layering is I put some pasta sauce at the bottom so it doesn't stick. You don't need to season this or anything. As long as your pasta is seasoned well, you don't need to season that pasta sauce that you put on the bottom of the pan. It's literally just so the pasta won't stick. So this is me doing my first layer. Nothing fancy, just layering it up on there the same way you would do maybe a lasagna or any other dish that you bake. So this is the first layer. Once I have enough on there, then I just put my cheese on this layer and keep it pushing. See? Put as little or as much cheese as you like. My family loves cheese. So I put a generous amount. My hands were clean, I promise. I washed my hands. And I hope you will do the same in your kitchen. <laughs> so here I am just putting the second layer on. And when I finish the second layer, I just add more cheese. And I add a little parsley on top of that. I don't know why, but my daughter believes that everything should have parsley on it. So to appease my baby girl, I did just that. And so I'm just going to dump this on top. This is my second layer. Just smooth it out a little bit. And put the rest of that cheese on there. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And so now I'm just, I put it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. And this is the end result. Quick and easy, believe it or not, guys, this took less than an hour. Look at that cheese pull, exactly what they love to see. Look at that. And I am not tooting my own horn, but this really turned out better than I expected. It was so good. Seasoned to perfection. This is the end result. Thanks for watching. Until next time.